morning. I want to jump on here really quick and talk about the significance of the years that we're living in. Um, starting with 2020. 2020 was the year of of um, strength and struggle, meaning everything that went on in 2020 was a test of if you could survive. Some of us did and some of us did not, right? 2021 was the year of revelation, meaning it was a year that it un unveiled or it revealed to you certain situations and relationships like the if it was for you or if it wasn't. Um, so if you had fallouts with people, if someone revealed to you how they really actually felt about you, like who they are and all of that, their motives, all of that was um, revealed to you in 2021 those things were revealed to you for the betterment of self um even things about yourself that you needed to change like your negative characteristics or you know like revealed to me by my ancestors last year is that i needed to get out of my ego i was operating somewhat out of ego not completely but somewhat out of ego in certain areas of my life my ancestors told me i had to get out of that ego in order for me to ascend to the next level spiritually and i did that i listened but yeah, last year was the year of revelation. Things were revealed to you for the betterment of self. And either you took the message and applied it or you just sat on it and was in your head about it. But if you just sat on it and you didn't change anything, you messed up. And I'm about to explain to you why. 2022 is the year of revelation. Now in this year, I don't know how uh, spiritual you are. But in this year, this is the year where if you've been doing wrong to other people, like committing murders out of ego, not out of, oh, you did something to my child and, you know, someone came for you or they struck first and then you struck back. No, I'm talking about out of ego. Oh, you said something I didn't like. Oh, we were beefing on social media. Oh, you know, like you've done all this grimy stuff in the street, in the streets. Or if you've done all this grimy stuff, you scam people, um, you treat people like crap. Um, um, you have a partner, you stepped out on your marriage or, um, like things like that. Like, you know that you're doing it and it's wrong. Not you did something as a reaction to something someone did to you. Even if you cheated as a reaction to some to something your partner did, right? <laughs> Started stuttering. But even if you did it as a reaction, you continue to do it. You don't go tit for tat with people. Um, it's okay to protect yourself if someone is trying to attack you or your family. Um, and it's okay to stand up for yourself if someone is, is verbally attacking you. That is perfectly fine. But I'm talking about the people that are nasty. These people that are on social media that make fake accounts so they can get on here and talk bad to celebrities or other people. They're projecting their, their miserable lives. Um, I'm talking about, um, if your ancestors told you that you needed to change something about your attitude last year, or your spirit guides or the universe, whoever that you believe in told you this God, whoever, and then you didn't change anything. You kept acting. If you got signs, if you were told to leave a certain person alone and you didn't and all this other stuff, this year is the year that you're going to be first forced out of it. And this is the year, um, of karma. I think I said revelation. It's the year of karma. Yeah, this is the year of karma. So anything that you deserve, and you know you deserve it. You've been running from it, evading it, think you can got, got you've gotten away with all of those terrible things your entire life. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> it's time for that debt to be paid. And it's also the year on the spiritual level, it's also the year where your ancestors are not gonna cover you. If you're a messed up person, your ancestors are gonna stand back and they're not gonna cover you. They're gonna let that karma beat your ass. So if you was out here killing all these folks out of ego. All of those spirits are going to come and beat your ass <laughs> in your waking life. And I'm I'm dead serious. If your ancestors told you that you needed to change something or your spirit guides, because we all have spirit guides. We all have ancestors. But if they told you it was something that you need to change about your personality and you didn't, they're going to step back and watch you ruin yourself. This is the year of karma. And I said all that to say that you need. So my suggestion is to start trying to get it together because this is the year that you're going to get everything that you deserve 
on the positive side for those that have always done people right for those that live their life right for those that are not screwing people over this is your year of karma karma meaning you're going to get what you deserve this year so whether it's negative or positive you if you did right you're going to get what you deserve you've been trying to trying to build that business up and it's not really moving like how you want it to move this year is the year that is going to start pushing forward how it's supposed to just get out of your way listen to what you're being told act on what you're being told and you told and you will be okay but for those that got the bad karma that is coming your way this year and it, it it could result in many damn things even death but if that's what you've given out into the world that's what you're going to receive so get ready for it